It's great making things work with an Arduino, but eventually, after some time, you'll want to expand on your projects by connecting them to the internet so that you can monitor and control them remotely. The ESP01 is a Wi-Fi module that's compatible with the Arduino. Combining the ESP01 with an Arduino and a web-based mobile app such as Blink, we can easily get our projects online. The ESP01 can also be used as standalone for simple applications such as creating Wi-Fi enabled switches which can be purchased online readily configured. The module consists of 8 pins, transmit and receive pins, power from a 3.3 volts in and ground pins, reset and CHPD, as well as two input pins, GPIO0 and GPIO2. When connecting to an Arduino, the GPIO pins are not needed. We also won't need to use the reset pin. To connect, you will need three resistors rated at 1, 2 and 10 kilo ohms. You will also need a breadboard and a series of jumper wires as the ESP01 is not breadboard friendly. Start by connecting the ground pin to the ground rail on your breadboard. Then connect this ground rail to the ground on the Arduino. Now connect the red power rail of the breadboard to the 3.3 volt output on the Arduino. If you're using a Nano, you'll need an additional step which I'll explain later. Now connect the green cable from the transmit pin to the digital pin 2 on the Arduino. Connect the VCC pin to the positive 3.3 volt rail on the breadboard. Connect the blue cable from the receive pin to somewhere in the middle of the breadboard. Insert a 2 kilo ohm resistor between this pin and the ground rail on the breadboard. Now attach a 1 kilo ohm resistor between this wire and the digital pin 3 on the Arduino. Finally, attach the CHPD pin to the 3.3 volt positive red rail via a 10 kilo ohm resistor. And that completes our circuit. All that's left now is to connect it to the PC via the USB port and ensure that the red and the blue lights on the ESP01 are now lit. When using an Arduino Nano, the 3.3 volt from the Nano is usually not sufficient to power the ESP01. You're better off to use the 5 volt output using a 3.3 volt DC voltage regulator such as the AMS117. Connect it as shown in the schematic here, ensuring that you do not supply the ESP01 with 5 volts as this can damage it. The sketch that we're going to use to test our Wi-Fi enabled Arduino is an example sketch that's available from the Blink website. Once we've selected the correct board and connection type, we can copy the sketch to our Arduino IDE. Once within the IDE, we need to change some of the variables within the sketch to match those of the Wi-Fi network we're trying to connect to. On the Arduino Uno or Nano, we'll be using the software serial. So you'll want to uncomment the line regarding the software serial as well as the include software serial.h file. You'll also want to comment the ESP serial uh, definition line. Your final code should look something similar to this. You may also need to change the board rate depending on the default setting of your ESP. In my case, 9600. In order for the ESP01 to work with the Arduino, you'll need to include two libraries. The first is the Blink library, which is available from the Library Manager. Simply search here for Blink 
and install the first library that appears in the list. The second library required is not available in the library manager and must be downloaded from the GitHub page of the user VSHYMANSKYY. Download the Blink ESP8266 library and extract it to the libraries folder of your Arduino installation. Now restart the Arduino IDE and compile the sketch. At this stage the sketch should hopefully compile without error. Before uploading, check that you have the right board selected from the tools menu. In this case an Arduino Nano. Click upload. To test the sketch, load the serial monitor and check that the Arduino connects to your Wi-Fi network. At this stage it will not connect to Blink as we have not provided an authentication token. And that completes this tutorial. We should now be able to convert our Arduino projects to internet enabled ones. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials and check out my website gabu.com.